front of, 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 of top ports mm -hmm. and maybe go to board number three, whereas it's uh, Abhijit uh, Gupta mm -hmm. against Nikita Petrov. Yeah, yes, uh, Gupta was very impressive yesterday in his defeat of the uh, the young wonder kid uh, from America. Ah, I, wa I wonder, yeah. yeah. I guess, yes, a very impressive display there with black, to be honest, because as I played through the game last night, I, I you know, the, the typical feeling that all players have, you're playing a 12-year-old who's, I was going to say five foot nothing, but <laughs> maybe he's even shorter, and, uh, and basically your king is on E7 and all the pieces are pointing at him, and the last thing you want to do is have this little 12-year-old beat you up in an international uh, grandmaster tournament. Yeah. So we have, well, what could transpose to a number of things. Bishop b4 Boko, b6 uh, Queen's Indian, but he goes for d5. Gupta goes for the Catalan, and now we have this Bishop b4 check, which mm -hmm. is becoming very yeah, normal. Is rather trendy, or maybe just normal. So knight bd2, took on c4. And yeah, I suspect all this has been seen before. D takes e5, knight c6, castles, and bishop takes on c5. And we can see that, yeah, Gupta hasn't spent much time yet. And he's away from the board, which seems to amount for most of his bending so mm -hmm. far. I'm being very impressed by his play because you can see that he has very well, wor very well worked out systems. Yeah. He, he doesn't really want to win immediately in the opening. He's not an incredibly ambitious player, but he likes things with a long-term uh, plans. And okay, the Catalan, or in this position, it sort of suits him. He wants to play simply knight takes c4, put a knight on e5, unleash the bishop on g2, and just basically work on the typical advantages that the Catalan has to, to somehow make the bishop on g2 the best piece on the board. Yeah? And this long-range bishop always in the Catalan is the, is the long-term goal, to, to attack the queen side and dominate this long diagonal. And black, of course, he's opposing bishop on c8. That's the problem child that has to be solved here. Yeah. And, uh, and black be, still has to, to solve piece. his development problems where you can see uh, from your very colorful display that uh, if you add in a bishop on f4 with an arrow pointing from f4 to, to b8, that this is sort of what uh, white's dream position would be. And black somehow has to, has to find equality here. And the worst thing is that if he fights very hard, he can get equality. But just one, one misstep and he has to endure a long afternoon of suffering. Yeah. And here we can see Alec. Uh, Gupta on board three, we haven't looked at much. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, quite strange looking. Yeah, this was the uh, the Catalan where we uh, oh yes, well of course, talked of about course. the possibility of, of, of black suffering. And I mean uh, we even talked about yes, we talked about. C8. So it's a bit sad that uh, we talked about this position on about move nine. Oh, hey, hello. Oh, that looks a bit serious. So one hates to say this, but I think we've witnessed the deciding blow. Yes. <laughs> there you go. We had very good timing, as we see Excellent on our screens. Timing. Excellent. Excellent timing. And uh, his yes. opponent's quite happy to smile across. And, and to be honest, uh, you can see that you can play wonderful positional chess. You can get the best cattle in the world, but you need tactics to finish the deal. Yes, yeah, so only 26 moves. Ah, and you can see the chief <laughs> arbiter, yes. <laughs> I, you know, I, I mean, I, I love the guy, Omar, but you know, people will look at him and go, oh, he's such a hard-working arbiter, you <laughs> see? When in reality, he likes analyzing chess as well. Of course. Yeah, so unless you six here, the final blunder, but... Uh, well, but uh, well, but well, this is not a happy, can, because the bishop, what do you do he's about losing, all... He's losing already. Yes, I was yeah. about to say, the knight on d8, the bishop on c8, and the, it's such a sad-looking position. Yeah. It's just game over here. And rookies, yeah. And then you can't save the rook on no, it's just dropping and We're going to be up a piece, which is yep, always yep. nice. I prefer to be up a piece. Yes, yes, but I mean, this is like the, uh, the dream Catalan, where the bishop on the, on the long diagonal yeah, causes so the final yeah. blow. Yeah? Deciding piece. Oh, it's so always nice when that happens. Excellent timing. Uh, an update on the uh, Rathport game. Mm -hmm. 
Perhaps. Yes, this was getting quite exciting. Do 